Change is good, and so is the growth and the transformation that follows in the workplace. This culture allows for an incredible ROI on people and the bottom line. I'm Shelley Smith. When owners and executives need their workplace culture changed, they call me. I'm Elizabeth Belize. I'm a human resources professional. When there are problems with harassment, turnover, lack of employee engagement, and growing pains, business owners call me. Together, we help rescue businesses by making sure that culture matters. I like analogies. And a greenhouse is a lot like the workplace. Some amazing stuff happens in there. Think about it. The workplace, like a greenhouse, needs constant tending to. A chance for growth and the perfect temperature for it all to work well. That's the challenge. Some plants wither and others thrive unless the environment is right. A good workplace culture reflects a properly aligned mission, vision, and values. So we use a unique culture inquiry tool to determine and strategize what can and cannot work for them. The inquiry takes a wide view of a company's culture. The goal when we go into a company is really to help them either level up or completely rescue the culture that is existing today. But the reality is that change itself can be hard. Well, from a human resources perspective, I go in and I look at people's behaviors, attitudes, and the results that they're delivering. I assess that through asking some pretty hard questions, but what I find is their answers oftentimes are very, very difficult for them, and it could potentially uncover some serious drama in the organization. <laughs> Absolutely. Holding somebody accountable starts with clear, clear, clear expectations. They need to be able to point at, look at, touch, feel, smell, what success looks like, don't you think? Absolutely, and once clear expectations are set, defined, and most importantly communicated, yeah. people are not mind readers, right? <laughs> then we then we have conversations with them and you would be surprised how many organizations we go into where leaders do not know how to have concise, unemotional conversations with their people about how they are doing. Together, we not only rescue a business, but provide solutions that strengthen the culture and yield higher returns. It's important to get to know a business in person. The best way is to start with a conversation. The questions are not always easy, and the answers are sometimes hard. So I'm gonna be really honest with you guys. I've been out on the internet and I've seen some of the reviews about the organization. And if I were a potential employee looking to work here, I would probably run in the other direction based on what's out there. Well, you know, we've seen some of the issues and the complaints that are online. And we review all of them. And we determine which ones are valid and which ones aren't. And we address wait, those wait, wait, internally. Wait. What do you mean by the ones that are valid and the ones that are invalid? And what Sometimes the questions make people feel uncomfortable and, and defensive. And what do you mean by we address them? So how do you address them and, and what's invalid about them? Well, obviously some complaints are invalid because you have a very disgruntled employee, someone who might have been terminated. Ah, but the disgruntled employee You've got to recognize there's still some edge of validity in it. They may have blown it out, but there's still something that the company did that made them so mad that they wanted to do that. I mean, yeah, there's think the about old that. saying just because they're crazy doesn't mean they're not right. These questions stimulate discussion toward change. It's imperative for a business to be successful, and there's no easy answers. But when we keep digging, by doing one on one interviews, walking around observing teams in action, or initiating small group discussions, we find what works best for that work environment to change. Change is good, and in today's world and workplace, culture matters.